When the people die, they probably bring the name and the picture, and they believe after the funeral service, the spirit of the dead stay in the temple. They try to pray for them seven weeks, and after seven weeks, we put them on the wall. Like one year later, the day the family bring the food, and we believe they will smell the smell from the food and like to eat. They always hope they will be reborn in the next life. This is a Huangim temple. This belongs to the Buddhist religion. Also, we belong to Mahayana Buddhist. And uh, this temple, how to teach the Buddha. And we try to socialize. Everybody come and then uh, to live in the same house of the Buddha Dhamma. This temple we established in 1992. The members are around 400. They, they come from neighbor, also uh, from uh, some uh, Mississauga. If they like this temple, it doesn't matter how far from them, they will come. So depend on the teaching and depend on the organization of the temple. The people will be interested or not, depend on the master in the temple. If they try to be flexible with the people, they will come. If you very threatened, the people in this society, you cannot be very hard with them. You have to be flexible with the young age, the teenager, old age. We develop a lot and we receive a lot of new members. Like in 1992, we only have 150 members only, but now over 400. In the regular service, about 200 every Sunday. You know, Buddhists come from India, or most of them near here, and they know very well about Buddha. So that's why we don't have any difficulty with them. <laughs> we have problem with, uh, it's not Indian people, but uh, some Canadian. They don't know who we are, so they try to draw something outside of the, the temple, or they go to the top, the, the roof of the temple. They try to do something wrong, you know. But we try to be patient. The Buddha said, everything happened to you. You have to be patient and to find out what reason. So after that, everybody welcome. I don't want to change their religion or anything, just to be uh, together with them. Because Western culture is very open to everybody. So that's why the, if we adapt it, we can change ourselves. So with them and us, we learn together. Buddhist is very flexible to the neighborhood, and we don't cause war, we don't against anything. So we don't have any difficulty with the neighborhood here in Chera. Normally in the Chinese New Year, we celebrate the day uh, change from old year to the new year. So we have a five rocker and also the lion dancing to push the old year out and to invite the new year come to us. We believe in the new year, the people come to pray to get peaceful into their life and their family. That's as we celebrate. But the important, they come and they get the oranges and the red bag because they believe they can get from the new year, they will have peaceful and lucky, everything good in their family from the new year and from the temple also. According to Buddhist culture, instance, to purify everything in this temple, from your mind, from your action, from your speech, to the Buddha. Because we believe the cause and effect. If you purify yourself in this life, you will have a purification, good life in the next life. Because Buddha is a compassion, Buddha is a enlightenment, Buddha is a wisdom. So everybody have it. We don't mind you are from our religion, but you come here, you, you learn other culture, 
and you can compare with your culture, and you can mix together. You don't see you are Canadian, you don't see Chinese, you don't see Vietnamese or Japanese or Indian, but you see everybody like human being. When you see human being, you can open everything for them.